So this is the second part in a series of videos that instructs you on how to install Windows 10 into your Mac computer. So here's the thing. We've already downloaded the VMware Fusion product that we're going to use as our virtualization product. We now need to download the Windows 10 software. We do this through the DreamSpark program that you should have already registered for. So you'll receive a confirmation email with a link to the web store and you should have already set up your username and password. So I'm going to go ahead because I needed a secondary account to do this because I've already downloaded my copy of Windows 10. I'm going to use an account that was set up for me. I'll go ahead and log in with the username and put in the password. I don't like to save my passwords on the computer so I'll say not now. And at this point, I'm going to search for Windows 10. Now, the same process holds true if you would like to install Windows 7, Windows 10, or any of the Windows operating systems. I'm going to come into the search, type in Windows 10. Here's the Windows 10 for education software. I'm going to go ahead and add the 3264 bit to the cart. Once it's in the cart, I can come to the top to my shopping cart and I can check out. This is going to send a confirmation email to you. You do need to accept the DreamSpark EULA and I highly encourage you, if you haven't read it, please do. It'll show you how you can use the software. I'll choose accept and at this point I'll make sure that if it's not already in there that I enter my name, spelling it right, if I want to hear from Microsoft, I can, and I will proceed with the order. As soon as this comes up, I'll be able to choose download my software. And at this point, I can choose which version I want. I'm going to want the 64-bit version, so I'll go ahead and download that now. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while the download completes. So then once the download is finished, we can go in and confirm that by coming into the downloads folder here and we'll see the download. Now if we right click on the download and look at the package contents, we will see that there is a .iso file. If we've got this, we're successful in downloading Windows 10 to our Mac and in the next video we'll install VMware Fusion, and then in the final video, create a virtual machine running Windows 10. Until then, thank you for watching.